Hey everybody, welcome to the Waco Collective. My name is Matthew. Today we're here at Waco Neurotherapy located at 1101 Wooded Acres Drive, Suite 103 in Waco, Texas. Now today we get the honor and privilege to sit down with owner and CEO, Dr. Paul Fillmore, of Waco Neurotherapy, and he's gonna help us walk through how neurotherapy can help optimize our brain function and how it can help treat the symptoms of brain conditions and injuries such as ADHD, autism, and aphasia. So let's go meet up with Dr. Fillmore so we can learn more. Dr. Fillmore, thank you so much for letting us be here. I would love to get some uh, insight on what is neurotherapy and how is that utilized in situations? Could you give us some information on that? So neurotherapy is kind of a, a newer term. It's used to encompass uh, a lot of different methods that we can use for treating the brain directly. Um, so the same way that you might go to a traditional talk therapist uh, to talk about symptoms of anxiety or depression or uh, different things that you're struggling with, uh, neurotherapy works on those same sorts of things, but by kind of addressing the brain directly. With talk therapy, you're kind of talking through a problem and hoping that your brain changes yeah. over time as a result. Uh, we just kind of come at it from the other way of trying to optimize brain function so that hopefully, if you are doing talk therapy, you can respond better to that or speech therapy or physical therapy or anything that you're doing to try and kind of work on, on healing from some specific condition. So those conditions can be uh, as varied as uh, having a stroke and having language problems after, which is called aphasia, uh, to autism, to ADHD is a very common condition that we work with. Uh, so neurotherapy can address a, a lot of different things. Yeah, so it sounds like there's a wide variety of areas that this can really benefit uh, just a, a client, whether it's a brain injury or a condition or something of that sort. Well, I would love to dive in and just kind of go through this process with you and just ask some more and just help educate us through the process if you want to dive in. So what we're going to be doing right now is going to be neurofeedback, right? Yeah, yeah so neurofeedback is the, the first of the kind of methods that we use and I've tried to say the, the most dominant one. So most of the stuff that we do in the clinic is all based around the brain's patterns of electrical activity. So to measure that, we use a, a device called EEG or electroencephalography uh, that just sits on the scalp and measures the electricity that's uh, measurable there. Uh, and we look at ways that that kind of is in normal ranges or outside normal ranges. Uh, and when you have things that are kind of outside the norm in terms of your electrical activity in the brain, uh, and so you're also really anxious or really depressed, when those things go together, that says, oh, okay, this is a clear problem that we can treat and try and find you ways to change that electrical activity and make it healthier. Okay, wow, well, I'm excited. Uh, I'd love, let's go ahead and dive in and get started. All right, so if you look up on the, the screen here, you'll see all these different colored lines mm -hmm. that are individual centers that we're reading from with your, your brain's activity. Um, so oh, wow. kind of these guys up near the top are near the front of the head, these guys down at the bottom are near the back of the head. Uh, and you can kind of see each one's doing a little bit different, but they're right. all like somewhat similar. Um, so each one of these we can kind of look in real time, see if all these kind of patterns of squiggles up and down are within normal ranges for the patterns that we might expect they'll see, or if they're kind of going to be different than that. And again, we'll kind of look at the ones that are not quite normal right? Uh, and help you to train those into to healthier patterns. So do you, do you see like throughout different, I would say cases or clients and different things, you know, patterns change based off of how the brain activity and the things that you mentioned before, this, these are look different based off different stuff. Yeah, definitely we see different patterns. Um, so say if somebody had like a, a brain injury, usually we'd see a lot more kind of like slow wave activity, kind of like mm -hmm. bigger ups and downs. Ah, okay. Um, if someone's real anxious, you'll see some kind of like, what yeah. you see this pattern uh -huh. a little bit where it's kind of like little and chunky, uh, where the that's actually picking up on some muscle activity in this case. Uh, but if we're seeing kind of an anxious patterns, they'll look a little bit more like that kind of faster activity mm -hmm. that appears when your brain is kind of in the right zone, doing the right thing. Okay. You want to focus on keeping that green dot there and as big as it can be. You're also going to hear kind of a series of beeps and you just want to keep those going. Okay. And you might ask, well, how am I going to do that? 
we'll figure it out. <laughs> that, that's a great question. And that's kind of part of the process that's difficult is a lot of it is mm -hmm. not really like under conscious control. Mm -hmm. It's your brain kind of figuring out what it has to do and, and making a way to do it. Yeah. Um, so with this particular training, we're working on what's called the, the brain's default mode network. It's kind of its resting idle sort of system. Right. And uh, so what you want to do is just kind of relax into it and mm. let your brain figure out how to, how to do what it needs to do. Okay. How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Good. It's hair, hair do Friday. Dr. Fillmore, uh, what, we're, we're, we're in your office now and can you tell us a little bit more about uh, brain uh, stimulation in this, this part of it right now? Yeah, absolutely. So what we're gonna be doing today is called transcranial direct current stimulation. Um, so what that means is just like the equivalent of a nine volt battery worth okay. of current is gonna like get on the scalp yeah. and is gonna pass through into the brain. Okay. And it's gonna go from one electrode to another and wow. kind of like pass a, across the, the head in that way. Okay. Um, so it Great. usually feels really mild. You might feel kind of like a little bit of tingling, mm -hmm. um, but it shouldn't be uncomfortable at all. If it is, please let me know. Yeah, definitely. Um, all right, Matthew, this is our photobiomodulation system. Um, looks like a real fancy bike, yeah. bike helmet. Um, but if you look inside, what we've got is all these individual LED oh, wow. lights. Yeah. There's 270 of them in there, I think. And each one of those is going to pass light through your skull and scalp and actually okay. hit brain tissue directly. Mm -hmm. um, and it does some really, really cool stuff. So um, a lot of the methods we use are understood from like a pretty like high level. This they know kind of at the cellular level exactly okay. what's happening and how the light affects things. So it's kind of one of the most like hardcore science backed uh, pieces out there. Um, so. The, the lights as they hit the, the brain tissue are gonna reduce inflammation. Wow. They're gonna help increase blood flow uh, and do kind of everything that they can to help the, the functions of those cells work better. All right, so let's pop it right on like that. So if you wanna strap in, you're welcome to, but okay. whatever is kind of most comfortable for you. Hey, my mom always told me to strap in my helmet. So yes, I'm gonna, it's important. I'm gonna follow her instructions. So in terms of settings, um, there's different things that we can do. There's kind of like four like preset programs on here. Mm -hmm. uh, the glow setting runs it at full strength. Uh, and that's the one that like mainly focuses on kind of cellular health. Um, but you can also have ones that kind of, instead of like it being on all the way, right. modulates it up and down wow. at different frequencies. And that kind of then ties into the brain waves that we've been talking about all right. along and kind of stimulating different frequencies. So. For example, this first one stimulates the alpha frequency mm -hmm. and it's called peace. It really helps you with relaxation, reducing stress. It can help a lot with sleep. Um, so this is one that we have, have people use at home before they go to bed. Right. And we'll kind of put the brain in that right space where they're relaxed and ready oh. to go to sleep. Um, there's another one called focus. Uh, this works on like gamma rhythm of brain activity. Uh, and that's kind of things that you really need when you're like really engaged in a task. Yeah. It's tied in with consciousness and, and a lot of other things. So we can kind of boost that to increase clarity, help you concentrate. Um, this other one's called Energize, uh, and that works on the beta frequency of brain activity, which is another one mm. that you're using when you're kind of really engaged in a, in a task. Um, and that helps kind of increase blood flow, oxygenation, and kind of just um, get your brain ready to, ready to be active yeah. and do, do some good work. So we'll try the, the glow setting and just see kind of how that feels for you. Okay. Uh, when I'm wearing it, I just feel like, oh, this feels good. This is like good for my brain right now. Oh, yeah. Hey everybody, we just finished up with our Waco Collective episode uh, right here with Dr. Phil Moore with Waco Neurotherapy. Dr. Fillmore, share with the folks where they can find more information about what you do. Yeah, absolutely. You can find us everywhere online. So our website's www.waconeurotherapy.com. Uh, on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube, uh, Waco Neurotherapy or Waco Neuro. 
Um, and you can always give us a call at 254-203-5099. Um, or shoot us an email at info at wakeoneurotherapy.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. That's going to finish us up for today. Guys, we'll see you soon.